Hello, welcome back to Start Select. Today is Wednesday, March 14th. I hope your girlfriends remembered to go to the butchers as today we celebrate steak and a bloke. In today's news, Microsoft hiring former Sony exec in the wake of Peter Molyneux's departure, and In Exile Entertainment kickstarts Wasteland 2. So last week we heard from BAFTA award-winning and luminary industry pro Peter Molyneux that he'd packed his bags and waved farewell to Microsoft and to Lionhead, the studio he himself founded. He's gone to a new studio, 22 Cans, leaving behind the title of creative director at Microsoft Game Studios. Rumours of him wrecking up the place as he waltzed out are still unconfirmed. But amongst the torrent of speculation as to why he left, what 22 Cans has got in store, who's going to overpromise Fable now, and when the hell is Half-Life 3 coming, a single droplet of truth emerged, a new hire by Molyneux's former employer. Microsoft has confirmed that Phil Harrison, former longtime Sony executive, will be taking the seat marked Corporate Vice President of Interactive Entertainment Business, heading up the European operations. Microsoft themselves have claimed that the new hire is completely unrelated to Peter's departure, stating, We will continue to rely on our stable of first-party developers as we determine if and when the Microsoft Studios Europe Creative Director vacancy should be filled. Peter's previous role as Lionhead Studio Manager is being filled by Lionhead COO Mark Webley. But as part of Harrison's role leading Microsoft Studio Europe, he will be overseeing UK-based dev teams Lionhead, Soho Productions and Rare. In the meantime, if you've been angling to score yourself a senior role with Microsoft Game Studios, we think we figured out the winning job requirement. Shiny! Next in the news, we glance back over to Kickstarter, the crowdfunding program that shot Tim Schafer's next big project into the spotlight. Like me, you may not have heard of the program before then, but after Mr. Schaefer made a video request for $400,000 to build an old-school point-and-click adventure and film its creation, the money rolled in hot and heavy. He had the 400 k in eight hours, with the Kickstarter finally closing yesterday at $3.3 million US. Schaefer himself pointed out on Twitter that his 1998 game Grim Fandango cost the same. Well, next in line at the Kickstarter Money Hut is In Exile Entertainment, headed up by Brian Fargo, requesting $900,000 US to create Wasteland 2. Hi, my name is Brian Fargo. Some of you will recognize my name, but more of you will recognize the company I founded, Interplay. In fact, at Interplay, our mission statement was by gamers for gamers. The gamers always came first, and we created some great titles during that time. But the one title I always got asked about the most was Wasteland. After founding the studio Interplay, Fargo went on to create Wasteland for release in 1988, a full 24 years back. The critical acclaim the game received apparently still carries some weight, as the Kickstarter listing hit $500,000 within 24 hours. At the time of writing, there are currently 9,366 backers, raising a total of over $540,000. It looks like Minecraft's Marcus Notch Person has already dropped in at least 10 grand if this tweet is anything to go by. And other backers can pledge anything from $15 to the full $10,000 as well. The page boasts benchmark promises if the funding goes over the requested 900 k with a bigger world, more map stories and music. At $1.5 million we see, you'll have more adventures to play, more challenges to deal with, and a greater level of complexity to the entire storyline. We'll add more environments, story elements and characters to make the rich world come alive even more. We will even be able to bring Wasteland 2 to OSX for Mac lovers. So tell us, are you excited to see another Wasteland game? What do you make of this crowdfunding system that seems so deliciously lucrative? As ever, in the comments. OK, I'm wrapping it up there, but before I go, just to let you know that Bioware has launched the Mass Effect 3 Datapad app for iOS devices. You can get messages from your team. What's not to love? Follow the on-screen link to get yourself set up with all that sci-fi goodness. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow for more tales from the Games News Abyss. See ya. Yeah, that's right, baby. Medium rare. Medium rare. Got it. Cool. Right, I'll see you later.
Hey, you're still here, which is awesome, because if you want to see more from Start Select, just click this button up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to GameSpot right here on YouTube, it's this button up here. In the meantime, I'm hungry for uh, red meat, so I'll uh, see you later.